My name is Paige Hegley and I'm an academic coaching leader. My name is Jacob Scharfeter. My role in academic coaching is a, uh, is a tutor in which uh, for electives, but I, uh, anything uh, really I tutor in math, science, and so on. My name is Sarah Siddons and I'm an English tutor. Academic coaching is a program uh, just set up this year. Where the bottom half of the freshman class, anyone who has two D's or one F, or anyone who's failed a part of the OGT is put into a study hall-like atmosphere to complete missing work and be tutored on things. Or um, if they haven't passed the OGT, um, they work on Study Island to prepare. The academic coaching program is a new program we developed here at Chilcotty High School with the sole purpose of helping students who either have missing work or in the past have had trouble completing work and have some type of issue with, um, with either understanding the material or not getting work in. Now that we have spoken with administrators and student tutors, let's see what the students have to say. Yes, I do like academic coaching because it, it's helped me drastically this year and it's helped me be more responsible and the tutors in there make things easier and they give you help. I like and don't like academic coaching because, well, I like it because it did make my grades improve, like I got A's, B's, and C's this year instead of F. And I don't like it because sometimes you just sit there like for an hour straight doing nothing, you know, if you don't have any work. Yeah, I get a lot of my work done. If I have anything missing, like they put it in the folders, so then you can just get it done. Uh, no, because I don't get work, anything. Teachers hardly help me because I don't get work and I'm found. Um, there are some benefits if you, uh, if you have late work that you haven't turned in and stuff like that because they'll help you get that done, but if you don't, then it's pointless to be in. So I understand some students may actually be going down there and not utilizing their time wisely, but I believe you'll find that for every one student who may be saying, oh, you know, I try to sneak and listen to my iPod or check my cell phone or something like that. We have one or two students who in the past who weren't getting the academic help they needed who are now getting that academic help. So there is somebody tracking what they're missing all the time. Um, but again, some of them choose not to take advantage of the fact that they have academic coaching um, available to them. With any new program, you're going to have hitches. You do have teachers who don't want to turn in missing work. Um, you have kids who take their work home and don't bring it back. You have kids who don't do their work at all. And there's really not very much that I can do sometimes for the people who just refuse to do their work or they get so distracted without me having to separate myself from the group and put them in you know, this little room or at a special desk or anything like that. That's been really challenging. I mostly notice a difference in their behavior. I'd like to say that there's a difference in their study habits, but usually it's if we tell them to do their work, then they'll sit there and do it in class, but they're still not going to do it outside on their own. There's only so much I feel that we can do, and that's up to the students to actually do their work. It's, and it's just that part's really, really frustrating. I know that they sit at assigned tables down there, and they have um, assigned peer tutors to those tables. So I think that from what I've seen, some of the peer tutors are, are taking ownership of the students that they're working with down there and making sure that there is another person um, helping them be responsible or learn how to be organized and be responsible. With a lot of them, they've kind of learned that either they're going to be here anyways, so they might as well do their work instead of being yelled at for not doing their work on a daily basis. So it's, it's gotten a lot better. We've gotten a lot more cooperation out of teachers um, because they're actually turning in the missing work that the students need to complete and things like that but I have noticed a difference that they've kind of accepted their fate almost and they just do what they're supposed to most of them. It's fun to talk to them and see how their lives are different than mine and why they do the things that they do and I've learned a lot about them and all of their different things and it's really been interesting. It's a good experience uh, you get to see uh, the type of peer group that I typically don't hang out with or but you also uh, get to see the wide range and diversity of uh, all different people. It looks really good on a college transcript and everything like that to have volunteer service. It's providing me with a lot of diversity in my life because I've never really struggled in school. I've never really been one to not do work. So it's nice to get to know kids and why they do 
what they do and try to help them out. There's one girl at my table and she doesn't know how to read and I don't really know how she made it all the way through elementary and middle school without learning that fun skill but she just can't read and for years her teachers just thought she didn't care and didn't try. In reality she just had absolutely no idea what the paper said. So after we found that out we started like helping her. I ended up ended up working with her in every subject, not just English, and she's been getting C's and stuff on her tests now because she's been able to, oh, that's what that means. <laughs> a girl I had, and we switched groups a lot, but I had her for the first couple weeks of school, and she was so sweet, and she was really excited towards the end of last nine weeks when she came out to me, and she, and she hadn't been in my group for a while, but, you know, she and I talk every day during this period, and so she was really excited, and she showed me her grades, and she had all A's and you know, some A minuses. I, she might have had one B plus, but they were basically all A's. And it's happened with a couple people. It, it's too early to tell. I mean, it, it really is a drawn out process. It, it, it would take years actually for, for a person to see dramatic change. But you do see day to day changes.